Hello there, Wormlings! Black Dragon King here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Today, we can't go back that way. But, we have Celeste, and now it's time to get the hell out of Figaro. So, I'm just checking my setup how I want it. Yeah, I think we're good. For now. Remember that, uh, wind the clock thing that Kid was talking about? And the unwound clock up here? Yeah. We got the clock key from that one soldier, and now we can wind it. Revealing a secret passage. But in here, we do have, uh, battle formations to deal with. And, Celeste, being a Magitech Knight, has magic. Now the, uh, commanders here have 102 HP, and they are weak to poison, so... If you have it by now, feel free to use it, but I prefer to just do her multiple hits with her sword while Locke just keeps stealing. Pretty easy. Now, there are a couple of uh, battle formations that I want to come across here. That's one of them. Down here, we got iron armor. Which is much better for uh, Locke there. But I still want him to be on the, the Kung Fu suit because it gives him better speed, but I do want uh, Celeste to be on the, the Iron Armor, because she's in the front row right now, and she could use the better defense. But here we got another uh, formation here, uh, with a new enemy, the Vector Pups. Now, the Vector Pups, they're weak against fire. We don't have fire, but ice still works as a good power. So we're going to use that. Yep, oh, crap. Stole from the wrong thing. But Celeste also has her cure magic, so she can... Uh, use that to keep Locke and herself healed up pretty well. Let's kill this pup. Come on. I think I'm just going to kill it. Grudge. Ow! This is not everyone's grudge. Oh, that, that attack. But that's that's from a different enemy. And we got plenty of them. Let's use a potion. And you know what? No, I think I'm going to leave her in the front row for now. Anyway, we go... Game, I'm trying to talk here! But yeah, if we go in this way... We get down to a secret passage down here. And we got a couple of items down here we can steal. I mean, treasure hunt! Treasure hunt.
Hex Potion and an Ether. It's good. And that was just another commander and a couple vector pups. Oh, huh, wonder how we get over there. Oh, Celeste, so powerful right now with her, uh... The Genji glove on. Anyway, we get some earrings there, which is another relic. And I'll show them to you. Yep, raises magic damage, more powerful if paired. So... Now that I have that, I want to uh, equip the True Knight and the earrings on her. She gets her buckler again, and now I want to put her in the back row, because now her magic power is much higher. And this is the last formation I wanted to run into down here anyway, so... Now, her magic is a lot stronger. Well, not a lot stronger, but stronger. Yeah. One more casting of ice should take care of these guys. Yep. Done and done. Now it's time to get the hell out of here. But yeah, you can see the background layers there. Disable it just so you can see where the paths are. Just so you know, that left path there, that's where you go for that. How to get to this one. Oh, wrong one. You just go up and around. Heavy shield. And a regal cutlass. Now we want to equip that cutlass to Celeste. Because she's got it gives her better battle power. And the heavy shield gives her a lot better defense there. Both defense and magic defense. I think we're good. Uh oh. Pincer attack. Not good. But that's okay. Pincer attacks, they uh, lower your defense and raise the enemy's uh, offense power. And vice versa with a side attack. And another pincer attack. But on the side attack also it does the same but increases your attack instead of uh, theirs. And it, the pincer attack also prevents you from uh, from running. And right there, that's the true knight in in use. The when an enemy is low in health, or an ally is low in health, uh, sh the true knight wielder will defend them. I think it's time that I heal them. Hold them. Yep, we're good. 
And now let's get out of here. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. And after that battle, Locke gained a level. Oi. God dang it! After that last battle there, Celeste gained a level. Well, that's good. Oh. Well, that explains it. Why are you checking out her chest? Okay. Anyway. We're out. We're good to go. Let's just book it. Gonna need a couple of these. Now we gotta make it over to the other side to the Figaro cave. For some reason these things are a lot stronger, or it seems they're a lot stronger on this when you come back here, but... <sighs> and we make it to the tunnel this time. Thank you. Now in here, there's another, there's three new enemies, and four formations that I want to get. These guys, the Exocyte and, or, not that, the Acrophys and Katarga there. Well, Primordite. The Trilobiter and the Primordite. They're, they're all weak against lightning, but we don't have lightning right now. Do we? No. We do not have lightning. But they're pretty strong in terms of HP. Primer dites have 145, the uh, Trilobiters have 150. And then there is one new, one other enemy in here that we can run across. Hmm, what's that? Once again, do not get any of these chests. They are, they do have, ooh, there's a new enemy, Gold Bear. But, uh, these chest they do have better items now but they'll be even better later so we do not get them now yet anyway gold bear has 275 hp no weaknesses
Yeah, let's just finish him off with an attack. Should be good. Yep. There's two more battle formations that I'd like to come across. If I can. There's one of them. Just the two Primordites. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, they can inflict stop on you, which is annoying. But we just gotta wait for it to wear off, that's it. Hopefully. It will wear off before I die. Ow. Ow! Quit it! This is why they're in the back row. Kill them before they kill us. Now there's one more battle formation, and that's with the uh, with three trilobiters there. This is not it. Like I said, I want to try to kill the Primordite quickly, which is good. Ow! But yeah, we wanted to kill the, the uh, Primordite quickly because like like you saw earlier they got the stop and that wouldn't be good Alright, check up here. Once again, don't get the chest up here. Just wait for wait for us to come back for the third time. And god dang it. I don't know why, but my counter rate's extremely high today. And sometimes you can steal potions from the gold bears there. So. Ow, quit it. Alright, so I can't seem to find the last battle formation. I think I'm gonna just search for it off screen and when I come across it, I'll uh, 
I'll show it off. It's uh, three trilobiters, if you're wondering. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run around here next to the recovery spring for a few minutes, see if I can find it. If I can, cool. If not, uh, well. But anyway, I'll search for it off screen and I'll be right back. Alright, I found it. It happens to be a back attack, but I found it. And just also be careful because these guys can poison you, as you can see there, but don't worry about an antidote because I have a way of fixing that. <coughs> Let's just finish these guys off real quick. Yeah, I had to come back to this room to finish it off here, but... Yeah, and when you're walking while you're poisoned like that, it'll... It'll, uh... Flash like that, but... Don't kill Celeste, thank you! Never mind. Well, I had a way to fix it, but, meh, whatever. See if I can get it to kick off here. Sometimes when you attack on low health, you'll do, like, a special attack. It didn't work that time, but, eh. But you have the recovery spring here, you can use that to fix the poison, or uh, if I chose to uh, switch the star pendant over to uh, Celeste there, while she was poisoned, that would have uh, removed it. But, right now, I want to put the Genji glove on lock there. And put him in the front row. And I want to keep the true knight and the earrings on Celeste. For the next part here. Now there is no save point, so... Hopefully... This will go well. Anyway... Two steps away. Yes, something's coming out of the wall. Tunnel armor. Why they abbreviated it in text speak, I don't know, but... Yeah, now she's uh, given us a little example of her runic plate. But what we want to do... Use the runic. That way, when it uses its bolt magic... He absorbs it as MP. But we stole that from him. We got an, another air lace it. Or lance it. So we want to equip that. Get him double the attack power of what he has. So now we stole the weapon from him. And let him just attack. That can't be good. Make sure you have antidotes or a star pendant in this uh, in this part here. And just keep having Celeste use her uh, 
runic blade there. Anytime Locke gets damaged, just have him heal himself. The drill will hurt. But pretty much every turn, let Celeste deal, use her runic blade. That way, if he, he uses any of his magical abilities, poison or bolt, she'll absorb it and won't have any problems. Try to keep Locke above 150 if you can. Because if uh, Celeste misses a runic and Locke gets hit with the bolt, it'll hurt. But with the double air lancet and the Genji glove, this guy goes in. He can go down pretty quickly. And for that, we get an elixir and 250 GP. And now, that is about all the time I have for this episode. So, next time, it will be on to Terra, Edgar, and Bannon. To see if they got to Narsha right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been fun playing with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please support me on Patreon and visit my Facebook page. Links are in the description below. And I hope to catch you all in the next one. Peace out, Wormlings.